Do you know the guy from uh, the Babylon Bee? Mm-hmm. He was on Rogan. He was on Rogan. He yeah. was on Rogan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he was talking about he was talking about things that, and he was like a he's like a Christian religious guy. Yeah, he's talking about the ideas that need to be mocked. Mm-hmm. And I thought about that in, in in a society that like like for a healthy society to grow, things need to be mocked, like. Because everybody sends this stuff to me. That's why, in a lot of ways, comedians exist. And people send me stuff all day, every day. Right. Hey, like, mock this. Yeah. Or, like... Do your thing. <laughs> yeah, do... The, the, but but I wonder what the mock... Like, look up the definition of mocking. He, basically, he's saying that, like... Making fun of something or something in a cruel way, deri- what's derisive mean? Mocking... Uh, what does mocking a person mean? A derisive. Like demeaning, derisive, expressing contempt or ridicule. Okay, so, so it's like, mean. yeah, so mocking something, and, and I like if you go into uh, like a lot of the COVID like mask things, where like these you have to mock this mm-hmm. because it's 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 so mo- it's so silly, like. Going into a restaurant, you got to wear your mask. Once you sit down, you can take your mask off. Yeah. Every 10 people out of 10 would go, hey, we c- this is so insane. For us to survive as a culture, we have to mock this. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. Like Joel Osteen to have like a mega church and then find like bricks of $100 bills in the wall of the bathroom is like, yeah. We got to like make light of this. Otherwise we're going to go insane. Right. Or the, uh, the, the great, the first one everyone comes to as a comedian is this, the side effects for the prescription mm-hmm. that are worse than the prescription. Right. So you watch it and you go, all right. So if I, if I take this to solve my laryngitis, I could, I have uh, suicidal thoughts, possibly death, uh, uh, High blood pressure, depression, high blood pressure. I'm gonna lose, possibly gonna amputate both of my legs. You're like, good. You you just go. And a lot of the things that that are mocked are like trends. Mm-hmm. So like, the enneagram is what we. So like when the enneagram started and people were like, this cause is like kind of helpful to like guide my. Do you know what the enneagram is? Yeah, it's like a personality test. Yep. It's like, oh, this is kind of helpful to like guide my helps in my relationship or my strength and weaknesses. Then it becomes larger than life. And people are like, what Enneagram is your dog? And you're like, okay, now <laughs> there's the line. Or like what <laughs> friends characters or like what Enneagrams were friends characters or like Enneagram types at a football game. You're like, okay, now it's become, mm-hmm. this needs to be mocked. Yeah. It's, it's be, like, like Bass Pro Shop, any trend, uh, people that are gluten-free, people yep. that are vegan. People that, and I now would, I would, this is going to be, I don't know how this is going to be taken, but like transgender is what you consider a trend. Mm-hmm. Nobody was when we were growing up and now everybody is. So you go, all right, we, not mocking a person, you know, but you're mocking like, okay. Yeah. Like a guy like, like, a, like, um, the guy from the, the Falcons fifth sports reference in this pod, baby. Wow. He got suspended for a year for uh, Calvin Ridley for gambling. Mm-hmm. And then Deshaun Watson gets suspended for 11 games for... That has to be mocked. Right. You have to just be like... Uh, I would say even my, my personal behavior in 2019, mm-hmm. what I was... That should be mocked. Yeah. You go, this is... You got to... Like mocking is something is like... And, and that's what he was on the Babylon Bee saying... Uh, once things are you can't mock them anymore that's the scariest part yeah and I, I think too it's like for two reasons things need to be mocked one is because it's fun it's funny yeah so like yeah let's have fun with that but two that's often the most effective way to get a point across is pointing it out and yes. with humor with, that's the sometimes like, that's the only way yeah like, like what comics have, what, what comics have been doing with this like with like the the abortion topic is wild. Yeah. What Schultz yeah. and what Bill Burr. I have, thought Bill Burr's was hilarious. I mean, that no one else can say that except a comedian. Mm-hmm. And I feel that that is, 
I mean, I, we can't play him. I, we could play him, but yeah, I don't think if you haven't seen him, look up Andrew Schultz on abortion and Bill Burr. It's just like, my goodness. Schultz was, was Schultz the, this is a you, like, he this goes, is y'all. Yeah, yeah, y'all. Yeah. What do you mean, y'all? <laughs> That's unbelievable. They were very clear on whose decision this was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> go watch the whole thing. Man. And then Bill Burr, yeah, you can look it up, Bill Burr, and it's Red Rock special on it. But yeah. you go, yeah, we, we or like, whatever politician he says one thing or like, and then you go like when he goes, when Nancy Pelosi goes like, Hey, we got to shut down all the salons and, <laughs> and then she's in one. Yeah. We're not saying you're a bad person. We're just saying, come on. Mm -hmm. And that's the way of keeping the whole, whole society honest. Yeah. And you get, and you get places like that are more like uh, domineering in their government where you can't speak out. And that's the scariest place to be. What did you think about? Um, the, let me find out what that guy's name is in a second. The the Babylon B guy. But when oh, yeah. he was Seth. on there, yeah. he he was saying he was kind of putting like the responsibility on comedians mm -hmm. and saying it's your job to yep to find these things and to poke fun at them and yep. to pick the like to have no holds barred for any topic yep. or any demographic or anything Do like it. that. Yeah. Rogan kind of pushed back on it a little bit and was like, "Well, our job is to be funny." Yeah. And like there was a weird kind of confrontation yeah, there. I for, felt yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. what are you, what were your feel, feelings on that? I mean, yeah, sure, it was a little weird, but on the net, net on the on the, it, it, it was a positive. It was a positive. <laughs> you cannot be serious. On the net, it's a positive. 